We're sewing the sail back together where it was ripped. So this this is the sewing I've done. No, this isn't. No, no, wait. This is no, the this, other. Yeah, okay, look. This that is, that this, was the machine that's coming apart. Okay. This, this is, is mine, mine. And this is Jessica's. This is Marius. <laughs> that's so mine. As you guys can see, I'm a I'm way much better, better sewing than Jessica. <laughs> no, I showed you how. <laughs> this is my example. This is his. So I'm teaching Jessica right now how to sew. Because <laughs> I'm a <laughs> professional. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm Marius, a 21 year old captain of sailing vessel Tranquility, an old aluminium sailboat which I just bought with the intention of sailing it around the Med before heading back home to Norway. In Norway the boat will undergo major changes, one of which will be rebuilding the entire interior of the boat from scratch, filling it with cozy interior, insulation and a wood fired stove. Join me and all the crew if you want to see what life is like sailing the Med on a tight budget. So like, how exactly, Jessica? I do like a figure eight knot and then just cut the thread, or...? Just there? Yeah. Uh, hold the needle, please. I could, I could show you how to do this. Yeah, let, let's, let's see it. I need problem, you to show me. Problem is, it's uh, like, it's really hard getting it through. Mm -hmm. You need to be like a total expert to do it. I thought you were. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, a, um... Amateur? No, like a pro, but not a master, you I know? I see. Okay. You have to be master to do this. You see, only pros make it this far. <laughs> you haven't got anywhere. I'm getting between it, it's just not going through. How? <laughs> Wait, are you true already? No, I no. haven't even tried yet. <laughs> Beginner's luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. What? Yeah. Yeah. Let's give him a cookie. He's probably gonna be really scared. He's never gonna leave us. <laughs> Here you go, mate. <laughs> no, I shouldn't give him more. Sorry, I just really wanted to. <laughs> it was so cute in the dinghy. Marius is cleaning the windows. Clean one. Dirty ones. He's <laughs> very excited. It's flying. I don't know. Because we were waiting for you. It's fine! You wouldn't live in a way. Woo! Woo! Whoa, whoa! Woo! <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> not flying. It's flying. Come on, big guy. Let more string out. Uh, it's not. When it gets high up. So Jess Jessica is being super kind and sewing the sail. She's been doing it for quite a lot of long time now. What have you been sewing? The sail. The sail? What part of it? Uh, everything that's coming undone. Yeah, so, so the entire sail. Yeah, <laughs> all of this. All of this blue one she sewed. And then the white one was there and then the blue again. <laughs> And while she's doing that, I am up at the bow and the spinnaker boom, I've not used it yet, uh, but when we were lifting the dinghy one day, it just broke off like the plastic you see here. It just broke when we were lifting the dinghy over the rails. 
Uh, and the rips that uh, Jessica is now fixing has been caused because of chafe around this area, uh, mostly here due to this. Uh, so I've, they were previously on this side, so I like this. So I changed it on the top ones, uh, but I'm probably also gonna try cut to cut it uh, flush and phyllite. So there's nothing that can uh, chafe. Uh, that and this one, the spinnaker boom was hanging on. Uh, and that's also some sharp stuff. Um, so I'm getting rid of that too. Uh, and these bolts were sitting like crazy. So right now I'm cutting those off and uh, I'll probably unscrew that. Right now I don't have a spinnaker. The spinnaker boom is broken. So I think that's a project when I get back to Norway. So I'm just gonna tie the boom off somewhere it's not in the way. And this one I'll store somewhere along with the mounts for it. But after this, all of this area is gonna be completely chafe free. So I won't have any more rips in the Genoa. Cause the Genoa is actually kind of nice compared to the mainsail, which is looking horrible. <laughs> that's, an, that's an entire new. Yeah, by the way, um, I always wondered what, what do you sew with? Cause I don't know anything about sewing, uh, but there is, uh, it's this polyester rope. No, tread, I mean, polyester tread, uh, which is like good against UV and uh, water that is used. Uh, and I just asked this lady in a random sewing shop and it's like 10 euro for like life supply of this stuff. So it was pretty nice. <laughs> so for these past two days, we've just been hanging around in Chefalu. Uh, the guys are uh, washing clothes and uh, Diego's gonna watch the sunset. This is the last day of Diego's here. And uh, it's it's really nice place to just be docked. Uh, we're not in front of the city, but we're behind this break wall, and it's a pretty calm, calm day. It's calm today, and tomorrow we're actually going to start sailing. You can't see it, but right behind that barrier, 60 kilometers over there, is an island, and it's like an island group of Sicily with like a lot of volcanic islands. So we're gonna see some volcanoes, and we're really excited for that. That's tomorrow. So now I have to fix the sail and fix all of the chafe things and i also have to get up the flag the italian flag fell down and i want to raise the norwegian flag because the wind windex don't work uh so we can't see the wind direction but the flag on the starboard side really helped but that's only on the working on the starboard tack yeah start yeah that's or no now i'm unsure maybe port tack i don't know uh but only one of the tacks uh, but then when we get two flags, we can always look at the flag to see like each wind direction. Yesterday, Jessica stitched all of this and now we got to this part but here it's not holes from before and we have really a really small needle uh, so now I'm gonna patch this with some PSP tape what do you think about the sail Jessica? lovely it's lovely beautiful really beautiful yeah <laughs> Jessica is such a perfectionist with her stitches and everything and wants it to look so good and now we're doing this probably tears her soul off <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Jessica, go show go show the camera your work. <laughs> so look at these beautiful stitches. All that beautiful together, not flying everywhere. And my my tape. And then the tape oh, is not hard. staying on. <laughs> Okay. If we get a better needle, maybe we can sew that, yeah. but yeah. the fabric's too thick there. Yeah. Yeah, I should get more needles. That looks pretty good. So what happened uh, was that there was a little bit, like maybe this had gone off, so it was a little rip, not too much. And then one time when we jibed, this guy was probably here, and then the little hole got caught on this while we winched, so the entire thing just popped up and it was really bad. But now it's nowhere that the sail can be caught on. 
so it's pretty good. We just need to do something about this as well. And uh, we are leaving Cephalou. Ce no, Cephalou. 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 It is. And we are heading towards the island over there. I think you can barely make it out. I can see it. Maybe the camera picks up. It's uh, 30 nautical miles away, so we're gonna sail there today and anchor. And then we're gonna start exploring the volcanic islands. Jessica is going crazy. She thinks she sees dolphins all the time now. She um, she's driven mad by her desire to see dolphins. It was here. She just started to scream that it's right there. the wind you know we're going over there and the wind is coming from there that's cool Shh. you're in the way Carl oh, <laughs> I'm trying to do a good b-roll yeah, yeah, <laughs> this would be so perfect Carl go away Exactly, move Myers. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I'm right. Move. It would be so good, like, you, you yeah, don't go, go, know. Go, go, go. Just go to the cockpit and I'll come, okay? You can get it afterwards. Bro. So the wind has been worse than we were expecting. Uh, so right now uh, we're starting on night shifts. I'm sleeping at least to 12. Carl is doing the first one. If we're close to the island by the time he's done, he's gonna wake me up. If not, he's gonna wake Jessica up and Jessica's gonna stay around another three hours. Jessica, what has happened since last night? Uh, um, well, we, the wind was dead and we didn't move for like five hours. So we turned the engine on, which made uh, Carl a very grumpy uh, unhappy camper because he didn't sleep <laughs> um, and we eventually made it here I don't know what time it was I think it was six okay. in the morning I woke up when we got here but then I went back to sleep <laughs> yeah um, and then now we're here and there's some goats on the island and there's some birds and it's a big rock very big 
And I just went for a swim. And Jessica is complaining about us sleeping too much. No, I wasn't <laughs> complaining, I was just making a comment. <laughs> Technically, generally speaking, my night shift was the worst, but then you guys were interrupted through your sleep shifts. But... <laughs> also, what time did you wake up this morning? Because like, is Me? it like 10 now? I have no idea what time it's it is. Be 10. Is it 10? Okay, which meant you slept for the last like four hours since we got here and anchored. Yeah, and I slept like five hours before my shift. So you've had your sleep. You yeah. had your sleep. You've yeah. had like six I hours? Did. Yeah, all in all six hours. I had... <laughs> how much? I had like three hours. That's waking up three times and being like awake, you know? And then... What are you seeing? There's goats. There's five, I think. I'm like choking on my bread because I'm trying to talk and eat at the same time. Um, we just rode in to this island there's tranquility over there and now we're gonna climb up the mountain Carla found a beautiful beach to sunbathe. <laughs> it looks super comfortable. Going up. And we found a good climbing spot where the goats are going, but it's pretty, pretty steep. So we'll see. Oh, echo! Ah! Give me your best scream, Jessica. Come on. The inner child and you really want to scream right now to hear the echo. Oh, it echoes? Yeah. Echo! Echo! That's not a good echo. Echo! You can do better than that. It sounded more manly than mine. Okay, this is pretty dangerous actually. This is not that dangerous. These rocks are like... Some of them are barely hanging in their spots. And if we start a rock slide, we're fucked. <laughs> yes, it is dangerous. I just stepped on like a 40 kilo stone and it started moving. And it was wedged between two other rocks. Okay, but that's just because there's lots of like debris from old rock slides here that aren't like set properly. <laughs> but up there, all the rocks already fell, so it's just dirt. So there's not gonna be any moving rocks. Woohoo! Cool. <laughs> but what if I start a new, like I remove one rock underneath me, and then all the other ones are supported by that rock, and then it just start falling? Well, that'd be unfortunate. <laughs> this girl. Where do I find these people? <laughs> <clears throat> so we're going all the way up there, we think. And this is like the only way of actually going up. Our tour guides is the goats, and they show us the way. That was what I was talking about at the boat. It's just dirt. You need to run, Jessica. You need to run. 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 Come on, faster. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Okay. We are making some progress. Way down there. I tried climbing up this one. Problem is that like, the mountain's just falling apart when I touch it. So it's kind of scary to climb in. It's really steep there. I'm trying to go up here now. So, 
We're kind of about to give up to actually not die. <laughs> Jessica just want to try that one. But where are you going afterwards? I don't know, I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> I can see where you're heading. <laughs> okay, we've decided to go down and not die and find another way, maybe. So I'm gonna try to not just slide down, because what I've noticed, if I take away rocks here, then the rocks above have space to fall, which can make like a huge rock slide, so uh, which can kill you. So I'm gonna go over to that wall and start climbing down like a normal person. It was a bit stupid of us. Uh, we were going to text Carl when he was gonna pick us up, but uh, we don't have reception of course, because we're on a deserted island and the closest land is there. You can't even see it because it's so far away. So we'll have to scream and hope he hears us. 